Hey guys, in this video I just want to compare the new Firefox 4 Beta 7 versus Google Chrome 10 Canary build. So I know I made some tests like Internet Explorer versus Google Chrome 10 and Google Chrome 8 versus Google Chrome 10. And I mean, I just have to try out Firefox 4 versus Google Chrome 10 because Firefox was my main browser before I started using Google Chrome and I just loved it but now I'm loving Google Chrome so okay so let's begin this test so the first test I was doing was basically a CSS test to see how fast the CSS rendering test was and this is a file that I'm storing locally on my computer so here you can see the millisecond it takes to load this full page and it's like 2500 boxes it lags a little bit yeah I'm not sure if it lags okay it doesn't lag in Google Chrome so clearly you can see there one thing that Google Chrome is you know, you know just a faster program it doesn't lag wow this is a laggy Firefox compared to Google Chrome 10 okay so you can see that when I reload it a couple of times as you can see it takes around one 180 milliseconds around 180 200 milliseconds to load in this page and let's see how long time it takes in Google Chrome 10 and basically you can see see how faster how much faster Google Chrome 10 is against Firefox 4 in rendering CSS I mean it just smash it just smash the new Firefox 4 beta 7 so yeah that is the first test yeah around 50 milliseconds that's quite impressive then we have the acid free test which will basically test how good your browser are with uh, current web standards like the web 2.0 standards and inside of Firefox 4 I got 97 out of 100 and that is quite good actually I mean I got into in Internet Explorer 9 the beta I got 95 out of 100 and in Google Chrome 8 I got 97 out of 100 so it's the same results as in Google Chrome 8 but if I run it in Google Chrome 10 I get 100 out of 100 so yeah beaten again Firefox and then we have the Sun Spider test which was kind of interesting to run actually it's basically a JavaScript benchmark test for your web browser and inside of Firefox I got 383 milliseconds to make all of these different tests and when I run it in or run it in inside of Google Chrome 10 I got 436 milliseconds so it does seem that the Firefox 4 is faster on the JavaScript thing. Now I know I should make this test like two or three times more so I can get a pretty accurate result. But hey, I didn't. But okay, they seem to be like the same in the JavaScript. Quite awesome. Then we have basically the interesting fish tank test which will basically test the hardware acceleration in your web browser so I started out with the Firefox 4 and I got some really good results on 1000 fishes I got around 25 FPS to 40 FPS and that was really good actually and then when I go to Google Chrome 10 I got around 21 FPS and uh, yeah around 21 FPS to 30 FPS so it does seem that Firefox 4 is a little better in hardware acceleration compared to Google Chrome but hey how often do you use like 1000 fishes on the screen yeah I know weird right yeah but still a little better same goes with Internet Explorer 9 beta a little better than Google Chrome 10 also we have the last test which is basically a overall browser benchmarking test and here I use peacekeeper and in Google Chrome 10 I run it ran it two times and the first time I got six six thousand points around six thousand points and the other time I got like a little over almost like five thousand 
400 points. And if we could see what I got in Firefox 4, I get around 3,500. So you get around 2,000 more points in Google Chrome 10. And if we go here into details on Firefox 4, we can see that it is best on complex graphics. And then we have data and text parsing. If we go inside of Google Chrome 10 and have a quick look, we can see that they are better in data, 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 yeah. Then they're also very good at text parsing and complex graphics. So that is quite awesome actually. Now, I can say some other things as well why I'm not using Firefox 4. Uh, or just Firefox when I change to Google Chrome. Now, the first thing is that Google Chrome is so much faster, at least for my computer when I'm using it. Because, like, when I open up a new tab now in Firefox, you can see that it, like, lags. You can see this little laggy thingy. And, I mean, I don't like that. I don't like when you see that it kind of, like, lags. And it feels kind of slow. Now, when I go to Google Chrome 10 and open up a new tab, it's much faster, and you, you don't see like any lag, weird things like that. It's just fast and simple, and it, like it does the job. It does the job. Yeah, it does the job. I don't think you say does the job. Yeah, that sounds weird. Okay, and the other thing that I really don't like about Firefox is that they have a kind of like like a messy place here like first they have a little thing up here where they only have like a menu and then they waste a lot of space here like unnecessary space where you don't do anything then they have the tabs which is kind of okay but then they have some weird things like yeah this one uh, like I'm never going to use this one and then they have like group your tabs they, they should be able to hide this one what the hell is this yeah, that, that was awkward. They should really remove this. I mean, I'm never going to use these two buttons. Then when I go down here, you can see that they have made this back button bigger. And this one smaller. And I don't like that either. I mean, why why change it? Okay, I know that you press on this less, but still. And then they have this home button. And I really don't understand why you need a home button. I mean, no one is using the home button. I mean, like, no one. No one is using the home button. Then we have, obviously, the URL bar and favorites, which is okay. But then they have, like, a tab here. I'm never going to use this one. The reload, yeah, I'm going to use it. Then they have a Google search, which is, which is obviously okay. And then they have this little search button here. I'm never going to use this. And then they have, like, the bookmarks thingy. You should be able to hide this. Yeah, you can, I guess. A little feedback. I mean, they should be able to remove that. I really don't like that. And then when we go to Google Chrome 10, you can clearly see that it's much more simple. It's very simple. Like, on the top, you only have the tabs. Like, you have close tabs, open up new tabs. Very simple and very clean. You have the back and forward in the same size. And the reload button. I mean, the reload button that it's here, it's very good because I use it a lot. I like I use it a lot. Then you have this URL bar where you can search and do all these kinds of things to get access to all of your different sites. And then you have the favorite thing in that I use kind of a lot. And then you have this one that you know groups every single thing that you possibly will need. So it's very clean and you you don't waste space unnecessary space at like crap. And also like. If, if I want to search for something here, I, I can just type anything I want in this URL bar, but if I'm using Firefox, I need to go here to search. So basically, you have two searches here, like here you have the website and here you have like another search, but in Google Chrome 10, you can do everything in, yeah, just one simple. Also, what I really do love is that when you have this like huge URL bar, they add like, like when you add add-ons, they will be able, they will pop up here, and that is very good because you have a lot of space, so you could do that. But if you are using Firefox, I'm not sure, I don't think the add ons pop up. Like, you need to go to the menu and go to add ons, like, open up a new, new, like, let's see here, add ons. Yeah, you need to go here 
And I mean, that's a kind of a mess. I mean, wh why not just have the add-ons right here? It's very easy to access. I mean, here I have to click here, and then I go down here, and then I click add-ons. I mean, we people are lazy. So yeah, that is basically my Firefox versus Google Chrome video. And yes, it does feel like Firefox for demands more than Google Chrome. I mean, all I really care about is speed. I want something that works really fast and Google is really good at making things fast and like only use or only show the functions that we use a lot. So yeah guys, if you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe and I see you guys next time. Bye.